funny whenever I'm talking. Well, now we started the recording, and then you started talking. I mean, <laughs> it's already going. I guess I'm not worried about it. Because literally today, it's this. Mouse and keyboard. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the hill. You're going to be below the hill. Mm-hmm. My... Yeah, I'll just position. Yeah, you'll be at the bottom of the hill. The hill. And... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because all I'm doing is, uh, I'm making my frustration very clear. Uh mm -hmm. Okay, this is perfect. I'll meet you over at uh, A seven. And F seven. I like that. That's not that bad. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Don't die horribly. <laughs> so I'm going on the ice like and you're no, going no, no, on the no. hill. You're, you're right going A7. Ice. You're going A7. Oh. I'm getting on top of the hill. So with mouse and keyboard, if I zoom in, you see how the gun follows the tank right now? I mean... Pretty much everyone, like, watching sees how the gun, like, as you hit a bump or you hit a ridge. Yeah, but just aim down. Now it's aiming up. Now it's going to aim down again. But as you turn left or right, it stays on track as much as it can. But it goes up and down, and it's not supposed to. Now if you swap over to a remote, look at that stabilization. It's almost perfect with that stabilization the entire time. It's almost perfect the entire time. It's gold. Okay, and that's because we have a setting to uh, configure that. I think it's an options. It is an options. Horizontal stabilization. This is what you need. You turn that off. Now you zoom in. It's going to lock the turret in place now, and it's going to lock it wherever you're aiming. But... It's going to keep the gun stabilized on the same point of interest, no matter what. So come in here. Gun depression is clearly maxed out here. Gun depression is not maxed out. We are now driving down, so it lines up with it. But as we turn left and right, we lose that stabilization for it to hold it still. Going back to options, let's turn horizontal stabilization on. And now we can rotate the tank, and it's going to try its best to keep the gun stabilized the entire time. But the traverse, traverse speed of the turret's not going to match it. But then you go back to mouse and keyboard. And then whenever you zoom in, the horizontal stabilization works against this tank. Because it locks the turret in place whenever you zoom in. So let's say I want to aim at Toto. I'm aiming at Toto. I'm not aiming at Toto anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to remote. We're going to aim at Toto. Now we're going to drive forward. It's locked in place the entire time. The only thing I have to do is make sure that I follow the target the entire time. Permanent lock. And there's no way to fix this for mouse and keyboard right now. Which they said that they made mouse and keyboard more viable. But as you drive, that's a real big letdown right there. And Toto can probably tell what's going on whenever he looks at my gun and my turret right now. Yeah, look at that. It's just like, I'm aiming at the floor now, okay? Now I go back to remote. Is mine staying stable whenever I'm... Yeah, uh... now look at it. This is with remote. So you have better stabilization with the remote. With the remote but... No, you have stabilization with the remote. So now if we come into options, we turn off horizontal stabilization. Now we zoom in with this. Oh, it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> that literally did nothing for that. Where at is all. it? Horizontal that, stabilization on. Yeah. You don't have horizontal stabilization on? No, I didn't. What? This whole time, this whole, the entire, what, seven, eight years I've been playing, I've never had horizontal stabilization on. Well, it's a setting I recommend now, so yeah, let's go over settings today, because <laughs> apparently we need to go over settings, because. Toto plays like a Muppet. Do you feel hey, the difference with that I'm stabilization pretty... on? 
I can see it from the um Okay, let, let's let's turn off let's turn off stabilization. Okay, turn it off. Zoom in. Rotate left. Rotate right. No, your entire freaking tank. While zoomed in. Right. Oh god. <laughs> yes, that's what horizontal stabilization does. Okay? But then you go mouse and keyboard. What's really irritating is it, it's like this. And this is just a free aim cam. Okay? Now if I exit and I go to regular fire mode, so turn off the sniper mode, which sniper mode is like the biggest advantage you have with mouse and keyboard. Now look. How, how's that stabilization now? It stays with it. Yep, and now we're going to go back to... It's, it's escape. Uh, we're going to go free sniper mode back on. Okay, so now i got to zoom out and zoom back in. You'll see that the gun disappears with that on. Now look. Hi, Toto. I'm looking at the ceiling. Hi, Toto. I'm going to look at the floor. <laughs> you know, but that... But the coolest thing about the frame sniper, so I'm going to lock my turret all the way back. Okay, and this is why this feature would be so nice to have. Now I'm going to zoom in. I'm looking at you, Toto. I'm looking at you right now. Turret's going to line up any second. Lined up. <laughs> but the entire time I was looking at you. Now, another thing that I want to see them fix is um, whenever you go in for aim sniper cam, so right there I'm locking my turret, and the second I go into my zoom, the turret rotates. And that's the most annoying thing ever. I don't want it to rotate at all. You know, like if I'm holding the lock button, it needs to stay locked. So whenever I zoom in and then it rotates with me and then I'm in sniper cam, I exit sniper cam, I'm still holding the lock, but it's not locking the turret. So it's a little bit annoying. But whenever you're playing with mouse and keyboard, you're forced to use the um, standard version for uh, the remote. Which, honestly, why would you run with that? Because the whole point of using mouse and keyboard is not to, like, just have mouse and keyboard. It's to get the full advantage. But trying to get the full advantage using the free aim sniper, there is no advantage. All right, Toto, last thing that we're going to do, I want you to go to... Uh, below the hill? I want you to go below just the hill from here. right here? Yep, go below it. Hey. No, hold on. Right here. It should work right with this right here. Okay, so it looks but, like they did fix how far you're allowed like, to aim down with the frame sniper. Because that was over, actually over to your one right. of my complaints I had back in the day. So now they have it locked to the HUD. Because like way back when, Toto, mm -hmm. I, was, I was on top of this hill in my IS-7 playing with mouse and keyboard. And I remember this match, because I remember being on this map. I was right here, and I zoomed in, and I physically could not go past this point in my gun depression. I had to swap over to controller to get the last kill of the match. Uh. Because I, I just, it, it physically would not aim at the target. It was the most annoying thing ever. But not settings, you know, let's actually just quickly go over settings. So... With what you guys are doing, aim assist off. I recommend having aim assist off just because aim assist makes it a lot harder to lead targets. Along with that, horizontal stabilization is going to be one of your best friends to turn on. It doesn't matter what tank you're playing inside of, get used to it. Audio right here is low because Toto is also here. And then sound effects, you know, this is all you control. But your standard settings like this. Put that music volume all the way to zero. Oh, mine's already at all the way to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Hide, hide battle interface. Yeah, I recommend to turn this on 100% of the time. Oh, no, I don't know what's going on. Never mind. I'm joking. What? What? That was a meme. <laughs> don't do it. If you do it, there's something wrong with you. Suddenly, I lost where to go to turn it back on. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Okay. Additional, yeah, additional efficiency indicators. That's for your damage up at the top right. Actually, hold on. Let's go back to settings. What was the free show cursor L? Alt L? So... Why are they making this so difficult? Alt L. L Alt. 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 
Well, it turns out that didn't work. Um, okay, let's go back to settings. Uh, team chat, L control. L control. L control. Oh. What? No! No! <laughs> No. Wait, what? Why? Why is this like an L control? L control, control. You down, down. Why is this so difficult? You have to use your. You have to use so many buttons. All right. You know what? We're in, we're including the cam. We're including the cam. Nope. We're not including the cam. That's the wrong mouse. <laughs> No, we're not. Okay, so not just I have to hold control, hit Q. On top of that, it's not using like a W A S D. It's using the actual um prongs, the actual uh, pointer sticks to maneuver. Then enter, or let go. Oh, it's so weird aiming with this thing. <laughs> nope, we're not doing that. Back to the mouse. Why? Why is it like this? It's so weird. Mouse and keyboard. Definitely. And then one more thing. What was it to reload again? Back to escape. Uh, reload partial clip C. I like that. That's simple. Nice and simple. But a couple things that are broken. Control. <laughs> Control. Nope. Screw that. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Um, so far, the only thing I got to say is they need to fix the horizontal stabilization that's not even here right now but that needs to get fixed for a uh, mouse and keyboard for vertical stabilization we need vertical stabilization for mouse and keyboard and i cannot find it anywhere because that whole aiming in and the best way to show that off is where'd you go oh my god stop it zooming in right there <laughs> I lost my target and I'm not moving my mouse at all. My mouse is not moving. I hit a bump and I go down. And then swapping back over to the remote. It's lined up the entire time I drive because of the horizontal stabilization. Oh yeah, that also reminds me, if you do turn off that horizontal stabilization and then you zoom in and then you try backing up, I think it's the second you hit a bump. Or is that always like that? It used to not be like that. Hold on, there's a couple of settings that affect this, and I know there is. And it's being really weird. Horizontal stabilization on. Uh, additional efficiency indicators and the arrows inside the O. Okay. Um, default configuration. My phone's going off. Where is my phone? Wow. Keyboard. Handbrake space. So yeah, th the only thing that they really need to fix for mouse and keyboard would be the uh, vertical stabilization because you hit a bump like that and then happen to realign the entire time. And then don't put a cap lock on the... Um, like if I, if I want to zoom in... Wait a minute, is it doing it? So yeah, as the tank lines up, it's staying focused like that. You see, that's annoying right there. It, it doing this, that's really annoying. Because I like to zoom in every once in a while to get my shots on target. <laughs> Counts. <laughs> but then if you zoom in, and all of a sudden you just lose, you just lost everything. And there's moments that I'll be driving around wanting to shoot a light tank with uh, the remote. Okay, my remote settings are all off too. Okay, now they're swapped. All right, we're good. No, it's <laughs> freaking maniac there's moments that like driving around <laughs> you're gonna want to zoom in to lead your shots on light tanks or just tanks in general and not having that vertical stabilization is gonna really mess with this so, like i can hit this hill aim at toto and i'm almost consistently on target the entire time with my remote i can take a shot and make him mad but then swapping over to mouse and keyboard i'm gonna zoom in and all of a sudden I lost target without even trying to lose target. I physically have to aim in third person just to be able to do a track. I'm, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to line up on the side. <laughs> Clutch break and then snap. Here's the last one to your turret. <laughs> Whoa. 
that hit that hit my the top of my chassis. Yeah. Okay. Um, Just to the left of the number two. <laughs> oh, that did. <laughs> but yeah, no, like just a couple of things to fix with mouse and keyboard and once they fix that I'll be a permanent mouse and keyboard player, but I can't stand this Hit a bump aim down hit a bump aim high hit a bump aim down hit a bump aim high, but they're horizontal Stabilization absolutely amazing, but other than that nods nah, I'm gonna ram you I got 30 I got 30 seconds to ram you. I'm gonna ram you <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, no, no. I'm shooting heat. No, that's expensive. Get tracked. <laughs> yeah. You get tracked. <laughs> Need a heat shell. No. Ha. <laughs> All right. But yeah, no, you're just that horizontal and no, the vertical stabilization is... <laughs> But horizontal stabilization is all they gotta fix. Yeah, Once they fix a close that, defeat. close defeat. <laughs> totally, you know. All I did is drive in circles and waste seventy six thousand silver in a single match. Three clips. Oh, that's expensive. But no, vertical stabilization needs to get fixed for mouse and keyboard with the free aim cam. Uh, along with that, they need to remove whatever this cone system is that they're using for mouse and keyboard completely, because that cone system is really annoying. And the only way I can explain the cone system is like, you have a cone, like a 90 degree or like a 45 degree cone in front of your tank that only allows you to aim so high as long as the front of your tank is in that direction. It, it, it is that confusing, Toto? Because it makes sense to me. I, it, it sounds confusing now that I think about it. But it's like a forty-five degree cone in front of you. So if your tank is um, in a one hundred and eighty, oh, you mean the aiming, view, uh, the the turret view? Yeah, your turret view is it's in a cone whenever you're zoomed in, and you can only aim yeah. so far down and so high up before it locks out. I think they need to remove that lock. Because if they remove that lock, give it vertical stabilization and horizontal stabilization, mouse and keyboard would be extremely viable with the free sniper cam. But without that, it's a lot harder to aim at heavy tanks, medium tanks, or even if you're doing like a brawling match. Um, I find the free aim sniper to really mess me up in brawling matches because if they ram you, your, your, your vertical's locked, but not your horizontal. So if they bump into you with a vertical stabilization, wherever I was aiming, if I was aiming at a weak spot, I'm still aiming at that weak spot. But if they bump me, I now have to micromanage where I'm aiming again. And if they back up and I micromanage my aim, suddenly I'm not even aiming at the same spot I was aiming before. Mm, but then yeah, if I'm not I, using I the free sniper that. cam and I use the regular base cam that controllers use, I have no problem with aiming on the target directly, keeping it on target the entire time. But then why add a setting in game that doesn't work properly? That's the part that really confuses me. So that, that's my take on it. I would like to see them fix mouse and keyboard. Um, if they do, you, you guys will be seeing me play uh, mouse and keyboard a lot more. But that's been my problem with mouse and keyboard for a while. I would love to see them fix it just because it would be amazing to see them fix that. Small things that could be made better, but it isn't what it is. And yeah, the brain is smooth. The days are long and the problems are there. I need to turn on my AC. It's getting super hot in my room. I have too many electronics running all at the same time anymore. I'm dying. Toto, you want to say bye? Because I'm going to say bye. I, I, bye. I'm, okay, bye. Yeah. But no, we're gaming. Fix your freaking vertical stabilization for mouse and keyboard or free aim cam. Give it a try. Have your super testers try it out. Please, for the love of God, make it viable. You have no idea how much money I've put towards a PC setup, mouse and keyboard, and everything just to be able to play your game on console with a mouse and keyboard because it sounds fun. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. Free aim cam right now is really, really derpy, and it's really fun to mess with because it screws me up a lot, and I like it, but at the same time... He likes the challenge. It's not a challenge. It's just literally problems. <laughs> <laughs> like, lots of problems that just hit you all at once, and you're just like, okay, don't move. Okay, aim. Fire. Okay, I just played like a Muppet for half a second. But that's literally how it goes. But yeah, you know. Um, and if you guys get the chance, um, post this video on their Discord. Uh, send it to Mento Vinto. I'm probably going to send it to Mento myself. And just mention that I would like to see vertical stabilization be a thing in World of Tanks. Simple setting. It would make it to where mouse and keyboard's viable. Uh, other than that, you guys have a fantastic time. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the battlefield. And if you see my turret randomly aiming at the ground, it's mouse and keyboard.